fumble a bag. Now I will not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag. Now I will not fumble a bag. Act like you know how this goes. So what's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. Today we are about to recap episode one of Toya and Regina. I'm in a glam chair getting myself together. Y'all look at my face. I, my clumsy, dumsy self, <laughs> <laughs> then dropped the cell phone and had a big old bruise here. And it's clearing up. So I'm about to get glammed up. Going to an event tonight. But I wanted to have some glam talk with y'all about episode one of Toy and Regine. Mm -hmm. I want to know in the comments what did you think of episode one. I want to share some stuff about episode one. Um, I also asked a few people on Instagram to send in some questions. And then I have my makeup artist mm -hmm. here, Joya. I got some questions. And I have my hairstylist here, Brandy. Ooh, and they have questions as well. So we're going to keep this thing going. <laughs> We're going to start it off with episode 101. So I ain't reaching it. All right, so do y'all want me to ask the people questions first? Yes. Or do y'all want me to? I definitely, I want to know what the lines of the people's questions were. Okay, I got to see. I got my to tell y'all um, what the people was asking. Baby, the people was getting to it, okay? They wasn't playing. Mm -hmm. So no, let me no, tell y'all. Uh, beating around the bush. They wasn't. All right, so T two. Somebody said, <clears throat> "This is question number one." Somebody said, "What was your initial thought when Red told you you're hard to talk to? Mm -hmm. Have that changed?" Whoa. Ooh. Right. Okay, so <laughs> let's be honest. When Red first told me that I was hard to talk to, he he's never said that before. So I was a little shocked mm -hmm. that he said that. Like he'll say little stuff, but. Saying that I'm hard to talk to, I was like puzzled for a little mm -hmm. while. I was like, this man really saying I'm hard to talk to. And at first, I fought him on that because deep down inside, I don't feel like I'm hard to talk to. I feel like I'm a person you could come and talk to about any and everything. But after talking to my family and listening to why they feel that way, mm -hmm. I think it's I, I'm very passionate about what I say. And when I say something, I stand on it. So it's like, I'll hear you out, but I still stand mm -hmm. on what I feel. So I think that's why they feel like I'm hard to talk to because mm -hmm. I, I really stand 10 toes down on what I feel is right or what I feel is wrong. Even though sometimes I can, um, I mean, I do look at things from different perspectives mm -hmm. and I do see people's different ways of thinking. I do. But I mean, I can I, now that I dug deep down into it mm -hmm. and because I really wanted to know why they felt that way and I do talk a lot like my ass when, when we're talking about stuff I might over talk or say a lot <laughs> so uh thank you sis so B do you feel like I'm hard to talk to you came in on that question so mm -hmm. the people want to know how did I feel about when Red said that to me mm -hmm. and him, um what am I doing to change that so how you feel like moving forward, how I've been since y'all told me that? Am I getting better to talk to or I'm still the same or I'm listening with an open ear instead of talking or you feel more comfortable now talking to me about things? So elaborate. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. I actually feel like I just had this talk with Brittany. That's crazy. Um, I was telling her how I feel comfortable and I feel like you have too. Especially now mm -hmm. that we're in the same space at this moment. Mm -hmm. I feel like it gives us time to be vulnerable, speak, you know, um, actually be sisters, you know. Actually yeah. come mm -hmm. to each other about things that's on our mind versus keeping it to ourselves. So I feel like, you know, it's been getting better. I really feel like okay. you've been having a listening ear now. Okay. You listen versus just react. <laughs> it was reacting, huh? Yeah, because yeah. she be set on how she feel. Yeah, I just told you know what I'm mean. saying. So yeah, now passionate. I feel like she actually listens, mm -hmm. you know, and try to hear your point a little bit more now. So yeah, I all right, y'all. So I, that means that I'm taking what my family's saying into you consideration, are. and sometimes it's good to like, like, learn new things about yourself. Yeah. And work on changing them. Mm -hmm. So that's something I probably didn't know about myself. And I wasn't open to like really wanting to hear it for real. But I needed to hear it to change it. Mm -hmm. So 
As you can see, BD say I'm feeling yep, better. She got better, y'all, and I ain't kept. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do you have a better understanding of BD's relationship? Ooh, mm, that's a good one. So, um, do I have a better understanding of BD's relationship that she had? I mean, that she was in. Um, I. From talking to her, like I understand her more now. I would say that. I have a better understanding of like her position and what she wants and what she's into. So I would say the answer to that question is yeah, I do have a better understanding of BD now. Yeah, I have a better understanding of her and like the things she wants. Mm -hmm. in a relationship and what she's comfortable with and not comfortable with and what she's you know what the things she likes at first it was you know that was new to me that's a whole new world to me so she educated me on a lot of things and um yeah so i i i, I do understand now. do you feel like that's going to be broken down in upcoming episodes because some people still don't get it. is that going to be what the part about they together, not together, mm -hmm. and I don't under I mean that part I really still don't get, but like I understand her better okay. now. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't that. understand the getting in a tub, having to be yeah. together, we together, not together, but we both have our separate stuff. That part I probably that's that's not really my. I don't I don't know. That was a bit confusing to me a little right. bit, but so, I understand her. And the things that she wants and what she's into and what she, you know the type of relationship she want to be in and mm -hmm. what she likes and that's most important. So yeah. So the next question is um, somebody say somebody still asking about do you agree now that you might be a little hard to talk to? I just answered yeah, that. Just so yeah. Um, Somebody say, working I'm working on it, y'all. Every day, I'm a work in progress. I'm just like y'all. I'm not afraid to like admit when I'm wrong. I know I'm not perfect. I have my flaws. And I'm, I'm yeah, I'm able to take constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, we never found out what happened with Regina and Armand. Uh, I will say this. That's not really my business. I try to stay in my lane as far as people relationships. So I feel like they both are going going to explain that when they're ready. Mm. And um, yeah. Okay. So what is next? Uh, were you surprised? Okay. Are you open to new friendship? Um, new friendships with people. You know, I, I can't, that's one of those things that you got to just meet people, mm -hmm. feel them out, bond, feel their energy and different things like that. So it's like, shit, you never know. You've never been a... I've never been a person that's not... That'd be like, yeah. you can't sit with yeah, us. You can't, I've never been that girl, ever. So if I, if I vibe you, I like your energy, you good people, like, because I can read people really well. Mm -hmm. So if I, you know, feel you out and you seem to be a good person, then who knows? Like, yeah, we might can hang out. Okay, um, we're waiting on episode two, hurry. How <laughs> is this sharing your life with the world again? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like sharing my life with the world again, it, it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like opening your life up and allowing cameras inside your household to see, you know, real vulnerable moments. It, it can be a lot. But I feel like we live in a world also where no matter if you open your life up or not, things that happen from social media and things that by us being in a public eye, you still, some part of your life is still out there and you're still mm -hmm. going to get judged. But I always say this, and I said this since my very first TV show when I did Tiny and Toya, I feel like God really put me in, in this position for a reason because, and the reason I say that, I know it might sound crazy. I don't I didn't come from the perfect situation, right? Mm -hmm. My family, like many others, is very, you know, I have, we got issues, we got problems or whatever. But God did bless me, you know, like I bless me and still bless me to this day. And I feel like when I meet people, like even back in the day when I opened up and I shared my life with Tiny and Toya, people thought they was gonna get the glitz and glam of my previous relationship. And how life was after meeting my daughter's father and all of this. But I wasn't afraid to show that that's not 
just my life. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And guess what? It's more to it than that. And I wasn't afraid as embarrassing as it may have been for people. Like people like, how could you show that side of your life? How could you show this? I was able to help so many people, you know, repair relationships with their family members, mm -hmm. help their mom or father who was struggling as an addict. And I feel like even if I was able to help one to five people, I did something. You know what I'm saying? And something positive. So regardless of what people might say and feel, it's always a reason for things. And I feel like it was it's a reason that I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. Because I could have did a show with my girlfriends where we be out hanging and fussing with each other. But guess what? My life is my life. Like, And I'm not afraid of it. I'm not embarrassed by it. I'm sure everybody have somebody that they can relate to on, you know, on this show. And it is what it is. Like, you know, you're going to get criticized and picked apart no matter what, what you do. So, yeah, that's just, that's just that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a pause and I'm going to allow my glam team to ask a question. Baby, I mean, not Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> No, because I'm not going to ask my question. Okay, friend. you want me to keep going? Because yeah. no, my question is, why y'all kept calling that girl the girlfriend? Oh, um, Beatty's uh, friend. Girlfriend, yeah, why y'all kept calling because Beatty's friend honestly, the girlfriend? Honestly, um, I would say this. She was trouble from the very beginning. It's like, like I told y'all, I read people well. And when my sister first introduced me to her, you know, I allowed her in my world and... We, you know, she came to our house. She came. It's so much stuff that y'all don't know that we didn't say on the show that happened. But anyway, that's another day. Um, it was just little things that I was seeing and picking up on. And I was like, my sister is so gone and she's so in love with this person. She can't even see it. But I'm going to let her live her life and enjoy her life and, you know, do her. And when we ever have that moment to really talk about it. I'm going to tell her the things that I see. Mm -hmm. So it was just different things that she was doing that made me feel the way I felt about her. And the final straw was like our wedding. And when we did, when we started doing a show, BD and I was at a little rocky place because of the wedding situation. So that's why that situation is even on the show because we didn't care to really mention or say her name or none of that mm -hmm. on the show like i really didn't even want that to be on the show to be quite honest with y'all but however that is my sister's life and that That's was that was her reality yeah, so it was our we, reality too. yeah and it was our reality too because we were in the midst of like our relationship being rocky because of that and um she i didn't want to say her name because like i like first of all it was just that whole situation was just getting messy and it was becoming too much. But you know when you're on TV, you can't just say the girlfriend or this or that. You have to say the person's name so you can, so they can identify who you're talking to. So that's why, because at first I was just saying your significant other, your girlfriend. And, and you know, my producers was like, who? Yeah. Like, you got to say her name. But in the very beginning, I never really, I really was cool. You know, I allowed her in my life. And then she started doing little things that... Just made me just Question. say, because mm. you did, you, I feel like you really did kind of accept it, and you, yeah, definitely. you gave it a fair chance. I That's did. what they don't see in the show, you know. She didn't came to a Christmas party. She didn't came to my birthday party. We had bridal. a good time. She came to my bridal shower. Oh, she started stuff at my bridal shower also. She said that I didn't give her the proper hug that I gave all the rest of the girls that uh that was at my bridal shower and that called Beatty to call me and check me about that that was a whole nother story mm -hmm. but it was like constantly little nitpicking little situations and I'm like Beatty you can't see what's going on here but the straw that broke the camel's back is when I allow her to braid my daughter's hair and she called her terrible or horrible and then I called Beatty I was like Beatty why would she say that mm -hmm. and you know Anyway, so that explains why episode two is what it is. But anyway, next question. Okay. Wait, that was a good one. one. I know that was a good one, right? I'm just... Mm -hmm. Girl, baby, because I was watching. I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. You could wait for the I could wait for the episode. Okay, I know I like to run it. Okay, y'all. And by the way, we're going to take a brief pause. This is Brandy. Her Instagram is Experience. She do her one two on the hair, so check her out. She got more effects, wigs, hair, bundles. And this is my makeup artist, 
be simply stunning on Instagram. Her name is Joya. Kill, be the face, okay? They don't play the dream scene. So if you're looking for glam, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, you want to fly them out, I ain't stingy. I shall not Hit them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Um, Somebody say, not a question, no judgment. I just want to say that I love you guys and your family and I'm Aww. right for y'all. Oh, so thank sweet. you. Right. You know, after the thing, I kept getting a lot of messages like, is that Mama Nita on your page? We love <laughs> Mama Nita. I'm like, these people are very, people are really in love with your family. And it's like, they're happy to see you guys back on TV. I love and that. She was so hilarious. Sweet. With that mammogram. Oh my goodness. Babe. My mama is a whole movie. B. I right. was She in really is a whole movie. Movie. Not a mammogram. A pap smear mammogram. A um, pap smear. Gotta love her though. It's a mammogram. Um, somebody say, I want to know why episode 2 dropping. Somebody say, was Regine left on red in a scene where she's sexing her boyfriend? No comment. You have to ask Regine these questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm on. This is, this is the thing. I'm Regine's mom, so therefore I'm there for her whenever she need me, just like your mom or your parents will be. I don't insert myself in Regine's relationship situations or none of that unless she call me and ask me for advice. I'll give my advice because I'm her mom and I'm going to always be the show that she lean on no matter what. So all this stuff, I don't know nothing about. <laughs> um, somebody say love how real it is. We needed y'all mm -hmm. back on TV. Somebody say, how do you feel about your family? Oh, okay, we answered that. I mean, not being... Okay, are you happy you got your daughter back all to yourself since she's single now? I want my daughter to be happy. It ain't no, ooh, I got you back. You don't have no man. I never. I want her to be happy. And, like, it don't matter if she's single, in a relationship, whatever. Like, we're not in a tug of war where we fighting against her, her significant other. That's never the case. Because my daughter, we gonna, our relationship is what it is. People are really in love with your family. And it's like they're happy to see you guys back on TV. I love and that. She was so serious with that mammogram. Oh, my goodness. Babe. My mama is a whole movie. B. Like, I was She in really is a whole movie. Movie. Not a mammo, a pap smear mammogram. Okay. Um... Somebody say, are things over with BDML? You would have to watch the show to see that. Mm -hmm. Or are you and Danielle sisters, y'all have the same last name? No, that is my really, really good friend. That's my rider. I love D. How old was you when you met Danielle? I was young. I don't even think I was 21. Oh. 18, 19? Really? Yeah, I was really young. Um, you know that. Somebody <laughs> say, yeah. <laughs> Somebody say, why didn't Armand do commentary? So why didn't Armand do interviews on the show like everybody else? Because Armand declined. He decided he didn't want to. That we're not trying to paint no picture of nobody, do nothing crazy. Like what you see, we ain't making up nothing on nobody. So the reason you don't see him doing interviews, I think he did it one time, but he didn't really do them like that because he didn't really want to. Um. Let's see. Somebody say. Um, why is it only going to be six episodes? That's a wee TV question. Wait a minute. It's only six episodes? Yeah, it's the first season. I didn't season. know that. Is it sure? That means y'all got to keep watching so we can get that season two. Yeah, we yeah. need season two. Because <laughs> so, this, season, this season one is going to get retarded. Somebody say, is the show really reality? Will we see more of Wayne? Man, absolutely. Child, I mean, it's real life. <laughs> it's and I'm the makeup artist, and I had to <coughs> hit you all in the eye, girl. <laughs> darn still. Right, you was in a, yeah. So and yes, you will see more of Wayne. But y'all, I don't be wanting to bring my baby around all that craziness that be going on. But you will see her in the show and Joshie. Stay tuned. Um... Somebody say, I have a question. That's a good one. It's okay. All kind of stuff. I got a question. Go back. I, I got a question. question. So, in the video, in the, well, not the video, in the show when you and Regina and Casey were all kind of going back and forth, they kept showing red off to the side, like, sipping his <laughs> Oh, with his face. Like, what is his like real re like what is his reaction when y'all be doing all that stuff like is that usually his reaction like I'm just out of it 
I let them work it out. Yeah. So one thing about my husband, if you know him, Red is one of the chill, most laid back people. Like he'll get in his little zones where he act crazy and stuff or whatever. But when it's family drama and stuff like that, like, mm. you know, I'm talking about act crazy when y'all see him on Instagram and he be posting by rain, kicking them in the face. You see his personality more. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like family drama and stuff like that, he don't insert himself unless he's asked a question or like he don't believe in just jumping into family drama. And I respect that about him because that's how it should be. It's like you shouldn't be in the middle of me and my family arguing and fussing back. You know, he's there to say. You know, he, he gonna always diffuse the situation if it gets crazy. But for the most part, like, he's not gonna jump in and have, you know, just start talking and saying stuff when we're dealing with family issues or whatever. But watching him at that table sipping his tea was <laughs> hilarious. That's usually him, too. That is like, definitely Y'all crazy. You know, but he understands. I mean, everybody have, you know, stuff like that in their family. So, but for the most part, he just be sitting back looking at us like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> unless you ask him something. That's when he'll insert his two cents or like have something to say. Otherwise, he's just red, just chilling. He's just red. Um, I love the show. How many episodes? Uh, do you think you are misunderstood? If so, why? Misunderstood? Um, hmm. Why would you be concerned? I think my family understands. They know her. They know my crazy butt. Um, they know her crazy. Let's see. How's everyone doing? I love the show. Been a fan since Tiny and Toy. Everybody's doing really good. Uh, somebody say, are you going to do a meet and greet? Will you support us? Oh, sure. So yeah, we need to plan something. We're going to plan something. Uh, somebody say it's Josh by Logical Mom and her life. Thank you for stepping up like your brother asked. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she talks to her mom. And thank you. Um, how's your mother doing? Okay. Yeah, so y'all, I think that is going to wrap up Glam Talk. What's some good questions? Soya and Regine. Okay, so wait, are you going to do more of these? So oh, we're going to yeah. do this every episode. Yeah, I'm going to do these every episode. I'm going to try to come back and like catch y'all up on what's We need to be on. dropping these on Friday because yeah. we need to talk about yeah. this stuff on Friday. Yeah, we got to keep this stuff going. Maybe because <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I ain't got to do this by episode one. I want to ask. And then people always say, well, somebody said, Casey, you right. Toya and Regina should, should have supported you more. What? The thing about it is, baby, y'all don't see Absolutely what we do for not. Casey and what we have done over the years for Casey. Like, we post Casey, we support Casey on and off social media, on and off camera. It's been that way since Casey was in jail. So, you're judging that based upon the episode you saw. But to know Casey is to love Casey. Mm -hmm. And you will see Casey and how he is. Like, Casey makes it hard for you to just go all out there for him. That's all. Somebody said... Uh, when oh, you see rain this season, yes, mm -hmm. you will. And somebody say, um, and I can go back and share plenty of messages where I supported Casey's songs and music. Y'all not y'all paying attention to it now because it's fresh and it's on. But I didn't post the Casey stuff when he first came home before he went. All kind of stuff like so. That's not true. Somebody said, love how real it is. Um, and half of the time, we ain't goddamn talking. <laughs> and I don't be wanting to even be bothered with him. Because he did something he crazy. Left field. He goes all the way left. Um, somebody say... Somebody, oh, somebody say, how do you feel about being a leader of the family men mentally? Is it a lot of pressure on you? Right. Oh, it is. That's a good one. See, you about to leave it, them on the table. Oh, right so now. I'm going to leave y'all with this one. Okay. Yeah. So being the leader of the family is a lot. 
Mm-hmm. It's big shoes to fill. Mm-hmm. It's constant emotional roller coaster vibes. Like you be trying to change things and want the best for everybody and hoping that things can be a certain kind of way and you know, all of that. And it's like you have to realize that you can't change everything and you can't change everybody's situation. You know, like Mm -hmm. you you have to get to the point where you have to start setting boundaries and with family that's easier said than done. You know, like I deal with a lot of stuff on a regular with my businesses, with my immediate family that's in my house. You know, with me raising my daughter, with me raising my niece, with me running businesses, with me having a social life. And then I have, you know, such a big burden, like, and a lot going on with my family, my mom, my sisters, my brothers. And it can be a lot on one person. And then, especially when you're always pouring from your cup and nobody's pouring into your cup. Mm-hmm. So it, it it is a lot mentally and emotionally, but I love my family. I continue to ride for them. Mm-hmm. I want what's best for them. And, you know, not all the time your delivery could be good, but you know in your heart you mean well. And those of you who've been following me since Tiny and Toya days, you know how I am and how I've been, you know, rocking and coming about my family. Like, nothing has changed, but it's just that, you know, sometimes you get tired when nobody's pouring into you or checking on you when you're doing all of the, you know, heavy lifting, making sure everything is all good, you know, worrying about everybody else all the time, trying to make sure everything is right all the time. Like, and who's making sure you okay? So that's just the only thing. It's just, you know, it becomes a lot, but I love them and... We work and we still understand that we all we got. We lost two breath, you know. So I just be trying to hold on, and sometimes you know that can be a lot. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy the show. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll be back with another glam talk. Ooh, I couldn't even let them see me pretty. I guess I'll come back. Oh, we gonna come back with. Oh, yeah, I'll come, come back, back, y'all, and show y'all the final. I want to do look. some Marvel episode come back because I got some more questions. <laughs> no, I'm gonna come back and show y'all the final of this look too. I'm gonna just say a little one and a little two and just be out. Okay. All right, y'all. This is the finished look. It looks so nice. <laughs> the bob is bobbing. Thank you, Brandy. The makeup is B. Okay. There we go. <laughs> all right y'all make sure you watch this second episode of toy and Reginae on we tv this thursday don't miss it 9 8 central peace